Today I went to Disneyland and found this new Ariel statue by Steve Thompson. It originally came out a couple of weeks ago, but sold out instantly. So I heard it was back in stock and ran over there and was able to pick one up. So I wanted to do a quick little review unboxing and show you guys all of the details. The box is pretty plain, um, but you know, efficient, especially when compared to Steve's other two um, pieces. He recently did the uh, um, Snow White statues from D23, and then he also had a Hercules one with the muses. But yeah, that's all you got. It's very massive. And then the retail price, I'm not sure because I used a discount and I wasn't paying attention. And if Disney was cool, they would put it there, but they want to change the prices whenever they please. So they leave this empty. So it's a surprise at the register for all involved. <laughs> I already unboxed her for the sake of um, speed and it's like a fragile item, but this is all that she comes in inside and it's like secured with these ginormous rubber bands. So yeah, there's not a lot of packaging, but I guess it's efficient enough to keep it safe because it wasn't broke. <laughs> Here's the figure unboxed. I was really impressed with this in person. The photographs that originally leaked, like they weren't the highest quality, so I was kind of on the fence. And yeah, in person, it's a whole different story. The details are insane, like especially on the fin and on Flounder and Sebastian. And then with all of the stuff on the rocks, it's really gorgeous. Her face is pretty accurate to the movie. There's a couple of like paint issues that I'm gonna remedy, mainly just like the white of the eye not coming all the way over here. And then like the lips having like some mess. But yeah, I think it's really pretty, complete with the flower on this side. And then going down, obviously you have the dingle hopper. And I love how they managed to like capture so many of Ariel's like characteristics and like items, you know, in one figure. And here's Flounder and Sebastian. They're very well painted. And I love how Flounder looks like he's floating in the background there. My favorite part of this whole figure has to be her tail how you can see all the individual scales. That's something you don't get in the 2D animation a lot. And I think it's a very stunning depiction. Coming down further, here's her fins. They're kind of overlapping onto the rock here. I love the movement it shows. And then we obviously have the rock base with all of the little sea life and all of that good stuff. The glitter is absolutely perfect. It really solidifies the underwater aspect of this figure. And there's actually a little switch back here because there's a light up effect. So it's not like life changing or anything, but it's a cool little feature. And then they like slowly change color as you can see. I'll do a shot with no lights. Here it is in the dark so you can really see the color shift gradient effect. It's like a fun bonus to add to this figure that wasn't really necessary, but again, it's cool. And here's the figure on this little rotating turntable, just so you can get a 360 view of all of the details. Now, just so you can get an idea of the scale, here she is with the Disney Store classic Ariel. And again, the base makes this figure like way bigger than you think, but also Ariel herself is smaller, if that makes sense. <laughs> and then here's a typical D23 
Disney Store 17 inch doll. Here she is after my brief little repaint. I ended up just cleaning up the eyes a little bit. It was weird because the reflective part on each side was on opposite sides. <laughs> so as you can see in the before. So I just put them on the right side because like that makes sense. And also cleaned up the outer corners of the eyes, made them wider too. And then I ended up painting the lips a deeper shade of red just to like really make her pop. And I fixed them because they were kind of chipped. So yeah, that concludes this little quick review showcase of this new figure. And I really like her and I highly recommend her. She's absolutely stunning in person and it's like a really great addition to any Ariel fans collection. You won't be disappointed. Please make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.